All right, you guessed it. We are leaving things in jars for 30 days again. Except this time it's gonna be kind of like a reverse of what we normally do. Normally we leave five random things in one type of liquid. This time we're gonna be leaving jars of shark teeth and then each jar is gonna have a different liquid. So I have five of these jars full of shark teeth and I'm just gonna kind of show you what they look like. Obviously they look like shark teeth. But you can see it's just kind of like a, you have normal looking shark teeth. And you have some that are like kind of chipped up like this and you have some real small ones. It's really just kind of like a variety of different, some of them, I was thinking, some, uh, some, some of them kind of look like this, like, like that doesn't even look like a tooth. It just kind of looks like a, a chunk of one. So it's a variety. So they're not going to be jars full of just all full intact shark teeth. There's going to be some that are chipped and stuff like that. So the liquids, if we will be leaving these shark teeth in, we're gonna leave one jar in liquid fire. Liquid fire is a drain line opener. I think the main ingredient here is sulfuric acid. Then we're gonna leave some in hydrochloric acid, which the main ingredient's hydrochloric acid, or uh, industrial muriatic acid, which I think those two are the same thing. We'll leave them in some hair and grease drain line opener. This is concentrated lye drain opener. And then the last two, we're going to leave one inside of Coke and one inside of Mountain Dew. So let's get these jars filled up and see what happens. All right, so far, everything's been filled up for, I mean, just a few minutes, and it doesn't look like anything is really happening so far, which you wouldn't expect it to, except for the hydrochloric acid. It's like bubbling, and whenever I look at the bottom of it, it almost looks like it's trying to dissolve them already, or maybe it's cleaning, maybe it's like taking the dirt off of them, or whatever it's doing. So I'll put these on the shelf, and we will come back in 30 days. All right, it has been 30 days since we left our shark teeth in the jars with our various liquids. So, <laughs> as unexcited as I am to dig into these, let's dig into these. First one we're gonna look at is gonna be liquid fire. And obviously, as you can tell, it doesn't look anything like it did on day one. And it looks to be like the shark teeth have just been completely dissolved. There's also some type of like crust that has built up, which is kind of strange. Oh, I can't even pour that out. I thought that was still a liquid. I have a spoon. Oh. smell. <clears throat> that has a really bad smell. That, that, that stinks real bad. So, liquid fire. I mean, look at that. It's just literally turned the shark teeth into, like, pudding. There's not a single, ah, uh, maybe a little bit. Just, there's a tiny bit left. You can hear kind of like a crunch. Uh, maybe a little bit more over here. But for the most part, it literally, it literally looks like JB Weld. Like, I feel like if you could take, like I'm supposed to take like 
two parts of this and like mix it up and then like glue something together with it, which I'm not gonna do. Liquid fire will just dissolve them and turn them into a paste. Next up we have hydrochloric acid, which it seems to seems to seems to have done pretty much the exact same thing. Oh, this one stinks too. I'm just gonna I don't wanna dump the whole thing out. Oh, this one's the same thing, pretty much. Let's do it over here. It's same thing, kind of like a paste. Oh, there is... There is nothing left. No little hard bits or anything. It looks, it looks almost like mustard. Or like a... Like a, like a really high quality honey mustard. Except for it probably doesn't taste very good. Wow, yeah, there's nothing, not even a little, not even one little piece of something. So, hydrochloric acid will completely dissolve teeth and I would assume bone. All right, well, let's move on to the lye. I'm going to assume that not a whole lot's happened because it just doesn't look like anything's happened. I'm gonna do the same thing with a spoon just because I really don't want to have to, don't want to dump all this stuff out. So these, hmm. there is a fly in here. There it is. Oh, maybe maybe the fly weakens it a little bit. Cause that just broke real easy. Mm -mm. Maybe not. Other than I mean, other than the possibility that it might have weakened it. A little bit. I don't think. See, I, I'm, at, I'm able to break it, but I feel like this is just um, this top part of the tooth breaking away from the bottom part. But I feel like this is um, just the top part separating from the bottom part. Whatever the scientific term for that is, I don't know. But I don't. I don't feel like a whole lot happened. So maybe. I guess maybe lye doesn't really affect teeth. It looks like, I mean, it looks like it's kind of done something, maybe taking the dirt off of them since the, it's so cloudy. But, I mean, other than that, nothing's really happened. Next up, let's take a look at the Mountain Dew, which I'm gonna open the lid, <laughs> so that way you can see the thick layer of mold that has grown on top of it. So you can see, you can see in there all of this mold that is formed on top, which we don't really want the mold, we just want the teeth. So let's just kind of spoon out the teeth from underneath some of the mold. Oh, oh I don't want the mold, I just want the teeth. Alright. Let's do this. Alright, so that's a pretty good representation of the Mountain Dew. Now what I want to do, let's compare these with the Coke. Oh, that stinks. I just got a whiff of that moldy Mountain Dew. Oh, come on. I don't know if you've ever smelled moldy Mountain Dew. It's bad. Alright, the, co <laughs> the Coke has some, has some mold too, but not... Not a ton. Definitely not as much as the Mountain Dew. Come on. Oh. So, one thing I want to point out here, the color of the Coke is definitely a lighter shade than it was whenever it went in. And it looks like the teeth are darker, so I guess the teeth have absorbed some of the color, or the dye, I guess, from the Coke. So, let's take a look at these. So 
So when you're looking at them, there's really not a whole, there's that fly again. There's really not that much difference. Like, they stink, that's for sure. Wow. Hold on a minute. No, that's just, <laughs> I thought I was bending the tooth. I don't think I was doing that. Let's try the Mountain Dew. I'd like to see if you can, if you can break them. I don't think a whole lot happened. I mean, the, they're darker for sure, but they're not dissolved. They don't seem to be weak. They haven't, don't look like they've decayed in any way or anything. They stink. Other than that, not a whole lot's happened. So I guess what we've learned is if you want to dissolve teeth, go with liquid fire or hydrochloric acid. So I don't know what circumstances you would need to dissolve teeth, but if you do, there you go. There's the information. So thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.